Have you ever noticed that some tools do the exact same thing? I guess you have, so let's have a look. Split ring. Cut. And connect. So just some stuff to be aware of. The thing about connect is that it can take two points and connect the edge. And also it can take the edge and create a new edge on the center of these edges. So You might want to move this one under detail, even though it, it kind of doesn't belong there. It's just faster, really. And also this one, you might want, want to move this one up here because it's very convenient. You just click fix 3.5 and that's it. Another way to do that, of course, is by clicking edges. edges. And uh, I got my grid snap on here. Usually that is not on, so you get this kind of like inaccurate, um, inaccurate line. So you might want to leave that on, so you can snap it to 0 0.25, 50, or 75. Uh, it's just more convenient. Uh, you can see though that. Uh, that's not as fast as clicking uh, 3 5. For this one, we can say dissolve, but the thing is, it will leave behind this point, right? That's not what you want. So Sometimes I use this remove edges instead. Uh, <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. And it will remove this one for you. Uh, I'm not going to look more into it right now because, well, it should have worked. But anyway, I hope NT can fix that so it works as it should. So we got this clean uh, topology. Um, so, um, what else? Yeah, border slice, quad, and border slice. Can have a look at border slice, quad, and it does the same thing as this one. Cut with that. And just border slice, same as again the cut, just not maintain quads. So I don't know if you want to move these down under more, but uh, you might not use them as that much. At least it's something to be aware of that they can do about the same thing. Um, And, uh, well, I do not find these all that much faster. The thing, though, about uh, the cut tool is that I really wished um, that this could be real time. So when I clicked here, it would update and show what I'm actually doing. Also, that it would actually show the number of uh, divisions or cuts that I uh, add here. Well, 
Um, so again, fix three five. It's a nice one and uh, spinach, nice one. Spin quads. So that's it for those. So once once again, you can see that some of these tools do the same thing. Uh, you also got the split tool, but it's well, you have to select polys first and then select points. So and then you can run it. It's kind of slow, so I would just put it under more so, uh, instead of going back and forth. It's actually easier to just go for add edges and have this. Uh, well, you don't even need the grid snap on, and just go like this. Basically, just as fast, unless you have like. Uh, a gazillion polys that you want to do this to. Um, so, um, is that it? Yeah, I think that's basically it. Yeah, just a pr uh, small preview really on uh, what uh, what you can do. Uh, I could show this again for add edges. Um, add edges. Again, having this uh, snap on could be very useful. Shift set. So that's it. That's what I wanted to show.